Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be taking a look at how to fully automatically enchant using the Minecraft Create mod. The mod that's actually allowing us to do this is Create Enchantment Industry, which allows us to take experience, turn it into a liquid form, which we can then either store for future enchantments and pump out, or use that liquid experience to fully enchant our armor and tools completely automatically. There are five main items we can use to generate liquid experience. First is going to be the enchanted golden apple, then the nugget of experience, and heaps of experience if we have the create stuff and additions mod installed, and then any enchanted armor, and then finally, bottles of enchanting. The golden apples, nuggets of experience, and diamond chest plates can be used with a new disenchanter item from create enchantment industry, which is crafted with just a single casing and a red sandpaper or regular sandpaper. Now for actually using these in your production line, all you want to do is have them go over the disenchanter on a belt and it will spit your item out on the other side if you're using the enchanted golden apple or armor. And then if you're using nuggets of experience, what will actually happen is it'll just pump right into our disenchanter and then be pumped into our system. Another thing you can do if you don't want to get this line set up is you can simply right click on your disenchanter and your item will be automatically disenchanted and will pop right off. And to pull liquid experience out of a bottle of enchanting, all we got to do is swap this disenchanter for an item drain, and then when we throw our bottles of enchanting on there, they'll be drained out into our storage. And as you collect experience during adventures in Minecraft, you can just go ahead and step on disenchanters, and it'll automatically pump your levels into liquid experience. Now what I'd recommend is getting four of these set up, because they do go quite slow, and you can just kind of stand right in the middle of all four, and your levels will drain really quickly into your fluid tanks. There are a few ways we can semi and fully automate generating liquid experience. The first I'm going to talk about is our ore processing system. So if I go ahead and pump items into my crushing wheels, what you definitely want to do is put a disenchanter on that belt line. Because what will happen is as soon as it's crushed up, all the crushed ore and cobblestone will go over the disenchanter. But then any nuggets of experience will go right into the disenchanter and into your fluid tanks. We can also semi-automate this process using villagers. So the toolsmith will trade a whole bunch of enchanted tools, the librarian will trade enchanted books, the cleric will trade straight up bottles of enchanting, the weaponsmith will trade different enchanted weapons, the fletcher will trade enchanted bows, the fisherman will trade enchanted fishing rods, and the armorer will trade enchanted armor. So to automate this, all we want to do is go to our villager of choice, go ahead and trade up for those items, throw them onto a belt, that'll pass over a disenchanter, get unenchanted, and we can collect that experience. I think by far the best villager to use for this is the toolsmith, because you get a whole plethora of tools you can trade for and get lots of enchants. A good runner-up might be the cleric, because you can trade for lots of bottles of enchanting at once, and pump those into your item drain, and collect lots of experience. One of the other cool things about disenchanters is if I have a mob farm set up and I'm killing mobs that are dropping experience, those experience orbs will actually be sucked up by the disenchanter and then I could use those to pump into my system and store for later use. Well that certainly works for collecting experience semi-automatically with you sitting there using your mob farm, there's a better way to automate your mob farms. There's a brand new feature added in this mod, where if you kill a mob using a deployer, it will actually drop nuggets of experience, and you can just run those into a disenchanter and collect that experience. So as you can see, as I summon these zombies, they're killed, experience is dropped, and goes into our disenchanter, which we can then use to enchant all kinds of weapons and gear. Now that we have our liquid experience, we can use this for automated enchanting, but we can also just extract it if we want to enchant manually. The first and easiest way to do this is if you just hook a pump up to a fluid tank full of the experience, it will pump out the liquid experience, and then when it comes out the open end of a pipe, it will turn into experience orbs which you can then collect. Now you do want to be a little careful with this system if you're running this mechanical pump really fast, you'll get a ton of levels really quick, um, and if you're enchanting at level 40, 50, 60, 70 plus, then you're definitely going to be wasting a lot of experience. Or if you're enchanting right at level 30, you're going to save yourself a lot of time collecting experience. The other way to pull out liquid experience is if you use a spout over some bottles, it will turn into bottles of enchanting, which you can then either transport around your world, or you can just right-click them, 
to throw them and collect the experience orbs that way. Now we're going to talk about the process of fully automating the enchanting of your tools and armor. So first things first, the enchanting system goes off of books, so you do need to collect all the books you need of your enchants. Now one really cool thing this mod adds is you're able to actually copy enchanted books. So I've got my looting 2 book here, let's just say that was the only looting I could find, but I want looting 3. If I throw that in my printer, it will place the enchanted book in my printer, and then if I throw a book, the printer will then press down on there and enchant it. And the printer recipe is real simple, just a copper casing, dried kelp, and an iron sheet. Once that's done, we can go ahead and pick up our looting 2 book, and then we can go ahead and right click on the printer to collect our original one, and we now have two looting 2 books, we could turn it into a looting 3 book. This is also a great system to get mending, so once you get your first mending book, you can just use printers to automatically get more mending books and automate that process for everyone on your server, or just to have backup copies of all the books you want. The other thing you do with printers is if you actually use ink, which is a brand new fluid added by the mod, which is crafted by just mixing water with a wither rose, an ink sack, or black dye, you can actually copy written books. So if I go ahead and just write a book, I can go ahead and right click that on the printer, throw a book on our belt, it will then press down on there, printing our book, and we now have our written book that we can then distribute out and have as many copies of as we want. For automating the enchanting process, we need to craft this enchanting guide, which is just a sturdy sheet and a book. We can go ahead and right click that and we get this little GUI that says no enchantment available. All we want to do is take whatever enchanted book we want put it into this slot, and this now has Unbreaking 3 bound to it. Now that we have our book set up, what we want to do is we want to go to Blaze Burner, Shift, right click, and that'll turn him into a Blaze Enchanter. So he's got his little book, and we can now enchant with this. Once your Blaze Burner is turned into a Blaze Enchanter, you do need to have a fluid pipe pumping fluid into the back so that we can actually use experience to enchant your tools. Now the last step for enchanting is we just gotta throw our tools and armor in the back here on this belt. It'll kinda sit up here and our blaze enchanter will enchant it with whatever enchantment he's given. So now we have our sword with unbreaking three. Another cool thing we can do is if you don't wanna have a whole line set up, you can just simply right click on your blaze enchanter and you can enchant your items one by one. And here we have our Unbreaking 3 Enchanted Diamond Helmet. Before we talk about how to actually set up your production line for enchanting armor, I want to first talk about Hyper Experience, which you can actually use to get more than a full enchant. By default, the highest unbreaking you can have is Unbreaking 3, but with Hyper Experience, you can actually get Unbreaking 4 tools and armor. Now the crafting experience for the Hyper Experience is a little bit expensive. You need Glow Ink Sacks and Lapis Lazuli. You need to pump those into your basin. And then you actually need to superheat this. So you need to use blaze cakes on your blaze burner to superheat it. And then you can actually craft up your liquid hyper experience. And this liquid hyper experience is super concentrated. So a hundred millibuckets of liquid experience is only gonna give you 10 liquid hyper experience. So with our super concentrated hyper experience, if we use that, you can see that each like little experience orb is worth a ton more. So with three bottles, we can get all the way up to level 11. And a cool little aside, it actually gives you the night vision and glowing effect, which it's a little expensive. I feel like a night vision potion would be more worth it. However, if you're on a server, having a cool way to get the glowing effect is definitely a nice thing to have. So now that we have hyper experience being pumped over to our blaze burner, we can go ahead and throw our book in there with our enchanting guide. And then once he has his hyper experience pumped in, he will turn into a blaze burner that's ready to hyper enchant. So when I throw my tools and armor in here, you can see it'll use up that hyper experience. And we'll get our tools with plus one enchantment. So now we have an unbreaking four sword and shortly we'll have an unbreaking four helmet. This is kind of how I would imagine you want to actually set up your enchantment line once you have all of the books you need. So what we've got here is a belt leading to a whole bunch of different enchanters, then another belt at the end. And each one of these blaze enchanters has a specific book that we want to put on our armor pieces. So we've got these three, which have Unbreaking 3, Mending, and Protection 4, which I want on all my armor pieces. 
We've got Aqua Affinity and Respiration for our helmets. Then we have Soul Speed, Depth Strider, and Feather Falling for our boots. So we're going to go ahead and start with our chest piece. When I throw this on here, it'll first get enchanted with our Unbreaking 3 book. Bounce over to our Mending book. And then over to our Protection 4 book. And then once it's on there, it'll just bounce over the rest of these Blaze Enchanters to the end, where we can grab our Unbreaking 4, Mending, and Protection 5 chest piece. So now I can just go ahead and throw the rest of my armor pieces on this line, and they will all wait in row and all get enchanted. So one thing you're going to want to notice is our Mending book and our Aqua Affinity book are not hyper enchanted. Now the reason for that is because you can't have Mending 2 are Aqua Affinity 2. So for stuff that is like one level and one level only, you do have to use regular experience to enchant them, not the hyper experience. So now that all those are done, we have our fully enchanted set of God Armor. Just look at those boots. Unbreaking 4, Mending, Protection 5, Soul Speed 4, Depth Strider 4, and Feather Falling 5. That's <laughs> crazy overpowered and really cool to have. So at the end of the day, what do I think about this mod? Well, for creativity, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. I think it really adds a lot of cool features and builds upon those features in really smart and creative ways. When using this in survival, nothing really ever felt repetitive, and it felt like I was progressing a lot faster than I usually do without the mod as far as enchanting my tools and armor goes. Now, for impact on the game, I'd say this mod gets an easy 10. If you have this mod, you should absolutely be using it. It completely shakes things up and makes the enchanting process a lot easier and way, way nicer. For complexity, I'd probably give this mod a 4 out of 10. The new stuff it adds works very similar to how our normal create stuff adds, but also works exactly as you'd intend it to, and it all works really well together. 4 out of 10 definitely isn't a bad thing, just means this mod is really easy to follow and understand, and anybody could really get the hang of it with just a little bit of futzing around. If you're playing with Crate right now, I would definitely recommend checking out Enchantment Industry. It's a great mod, I had a ton of fun prepping for this video, and I'm sure that you'd enjoy it too. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.